I'm Carl and one of the most common things I get asked about cooking is how to do perfect poached eggs. So today for lunch, five out of my six children want poached egg on toast, so I'm going to cook that for them. So I'm going to do 10 eggs in one pan, ready for their lunch. So the first key that you need to know is you get your boiling water in a non-stick frying pan, get it bubbling. Second most important thing is white wine vinegar. Give a good splash. This holds the eggs together. The next important thing is get your eggs as fresh as possible. Okay, so there's the boiling water. We're ready to go, 10 eggs. One. Two. Okay, so there you are, you've got all your eggs into the pan, poaching. What I'm going to do now is just flick the toast back on, and I'll move these out of the way. So, most important, you've got the boiling water, nice and bubbling, that makes no difference if you open slightly smaller, a little bit less water, whatever, as long as you've got that bubbling water, you know it's at the right temperature. The white wine vinegar, you can use any other vinegar, you can actually use lemon juice, it's the acid that actually keeps the eggs together. As you can see now, they're the cooking quite nicely. But they just need a little bit longer. They don't take too long. Toast will soon be ready. And they do love pork eggs. Now, in the UK, when you see the date on your eggs, that means that, uh, that the egg is... 21 days when it was laid it's 21 days to that date so you can always work out the age of your eggs when you're looking uh, and like I say the fresh is best if you know somebody who has their own hens then that is absolutely perfect because then you can ask them for this morning's eggs getting the toast ready the eggs are nearly ready now if you notice, when I dropped the eggs into the pan, I did so in a clockwise direction so that I know which egg I put in first and which egg I put in last. So, let's have a look at these eggs now. This is the first one that we put in. Look at that, beautiful. And then with a the fork, all I do is I just Drop off the water and plop it on onto the toast. Very gently. Try not to pop it and place it down on the toast. <laughs> on the camera is my daughter Amy, who's doing a fantastic job of filming this for you. Um, and she is the one that doesn't want any poached eggs. But she's quite happy to, uh, to film them for us. <laughs> so can you see, they're all coming out absolutely beautiful, lovely, shapely poached eggs. And like I say, because I've put them in a certain order, I know which ones to take out next. And it will make it easier. And you've got more chance of getting each one cooked to perfection. Mm-hmm. Because by the time that you've actually took him out, it's similar to, sort of time to how you crack each individual egg. So they pretty much all, you know, have the same amount of time of cooking. And they all come out the same. 
Now personally, all I like to do with my pork steaks on toast is just season them with some good quality sea salt crystals and some black pepper. That's all it needs. Good food does not need to be complicated. And pork steak on toast is one of my favourite, even though Holly doesn't want any toast. Now obviously the children will probably want some ketchup on it and uh, or maybe some brown sauce. So there you go. That's 10 eggs, cooked perfectly. Uh, in how many minutes, Moo Moo? Mm. Five minutes and 33 seconds. Five minutes, 33 seconds, 10 eggs. So if we have a look, let's take one random. We'll just cut it open. Oh, look at that, cooked to perfection. I hope you've enjoyed my little demonstration of how to pork eggs. Um, by all means, follow my work on contemporary cooking at home and uh, let me know how you get on poaching your eggs. Thanks for watching. Bye.